Welcome to another episode of DP Outdoors. Today we have the Sig Sawyer P320 M17 model. Uh, we are going to be doing a full disassembly and reassembly. First thing we're going to do is clear the gun and make sure that it is safe for us to work on. To do so, we are going to hit the magazine release. Get that out of the way. Next, we're going to make sure that the gun isn't loaded. We are good to go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this, the slide catch, and it's going to go into this notch on your slide. How you're going to do that is going to use your right hand or left hand if you're left handed to move the slide notch. And you're going to use the opposite hand to push the slide backwards. So we're going to be pushing the slide back and pushing up on the notch to lock your slide in the rear position. After you've done that, you're going to take your takedown lever and we're going to slide that into this position here pointing forward. My gun's pretty new so some of the parts are a little bit more difficult to maneuver. But as you do it more and more often it gets easier. After your gun is looking like this, we're going to remove the slide. So you're going to take your left hand and hold the front of your slide firmly in place. And we're going to end up pushing it backwards and pulling down on the notch. So push it back, pull down, we'll let the slide come forward. And it will look pretty much normal. However, if you pull the slide forward and the grip back, It'll go into two pieces. We're going to set this aside for now and we'll disassemble that a little more in a bit. We're going to focus now on your slide. If you look at the underneath of your slide, you'll have your recoil spring and your barrel. We aren't going to remove the striker fire or anything like that in this video. We're just going to do the basic takedown. How to remove your recoil spring is going to push this forward and then up at the same time and then you can pull it straight out. Well, that's it, we'll set this aside. Next we'll remove the barrel which is this little booger right here. In order to do that we are going to push the barrel forward and then pull it out at an angle. It slides right out. We'll set this aside. Next we're going to take this takedown lever out of your gun, which in order to do that you're going to want to pull and twist on this side as well as push push it out from here. So I'll use this finger, start twisting. There you go. It's going to take some force and some maneuvering. Uh, I decided to edit that out for you guys, so this is what it'll look like once it comes out. The next thing we're going to do is remove this whole assembly right here. Uh, in order to do that, there's a couple different ways. Like I said, mine's still new, so it doesn't come out easily at all. Um, if it does come out easily, you should be able to grab the notches here and just pull it right out. Mine doesn't do that yet. How I end up doing it is I push up right in front of the trigger. And I pull with one finger right at the front at this notch right there. So it's kind of a stick my finger into here and I push up at this location and it pops out. All right, once it's gotten popped out a little bit, uh, I have to use both hands. Like I said, sometimes it's difficult like this one, it's brand spanking new. I've only shot a couple hundred rounds through it, so it's still pretty hard. But once it's popped out, you can pull it straight up and out at an angle. And now it's all disassembled. For the reassembly, we're going to take your grip and your trigger and striker fire assembly. On the back, you'll notice there are two notches on the back of the grip. And there are two notches here on the back of your assembly. Those are going to slip into each other, just like so. Uh, in order to get the assembly down into your grip, you are going to have to push your guard. Um, push your trigger a little bit in order to get it into your hole here. 
but then it's just a matter of pushing down until it snaps into place, just like so. Uh, if you have or you're not super familiar with this and you're just learning how to do it, you might want to push down on multiple points and like push backwards just to make sure it's actually seated into the module as well. After you have that assembled, we're going to put in your takedown lever again. Uh, again, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but if you keep at it, you'll be you'll pop back in. Uh, if you notice in the hole that it's not actually a full hole, it's like a little slice in there. On here, you'll notice as well it's not a full circle. There's a little slice. You're going to want to line those up and push it in. Now, it starts in here. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering. Of just pushing back and forth, rotating it back and forth until it slips in. Uh, once it's locked in, mine always locks in at this position. It will not let me lock it in at others. Just make sure you rotate this back to your open position so you can put your slide on later on. Next, you're going to take your slide. We're going to put the barrel in first. Uh, the slide's upside down. This is the front of the slide. This is the rear of the slide. You have your barrel. We're going to want your little flaps upwards. And it's going to go into the bigger hole on the bottom at an angle. And you're going to push your barrel in until it sits right in place. Next, we're going to put in your recoil spring. Uh, one end has two flat sides to it. The other end is a full disc. The two flat sides are going to be facing the front of the slide. So you're going to put it into that little hole. And at this point, you're going to push the recoil spring forward and down. So it sits on your barrel just like that. Now we're ready to put the slide back on the grip. You'll notice on the back of the slide there are two notches. And you also have your two notches on your assembly right there and there. You're going to want to make sure that this is nice and even. But you're going to put the two notches in just like so. Slide it back nice and smooth. Make sure it's nice and even. And even we're going to push the slide all the way back. And we're going to use the lock here to lock it back in place. One of the last steps, we're going to push the takedown lever back into the normal position. Hold the front of your gun, push it back at simultaneously pushing, pulling down on the slide release. And we're good to go. Uh, if this video helped you guys out at all, Please uh, drop a like. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me or put them into the comments section and I will gladly answer those. Hope to see you guys back.